So on the third part of the footer, we have the four columns. We have the first column with the company info, and then we have the rest of the three with the links. So let's work on that. So on the HTML, I'm going to create a container for that content. So we have a comment first, which is start the content for company info. That is for the company info. So that is a comment. So here I'm going to start that container, which will have a row. So we have the row with a class of text white. And justify content center. So we have that class. So justify content center. And then some margin at the top. So here I'm going to use margin top three. And then some padding at the bottom. So we have padding bottom three. And then tab. So inside the row, we need the four columns. So we're going to start with the first one, which is a bit large or an, a bit big than the rest of the three. So that one you're going to say to create it separately. So we have... So we're going to start with the call 12 and then for small devices we're going to use call small 6. For large devices you're going to use call LG 6. So we have 6 and then tab. So inside the first column you're going to add the heading which is company name and then the info about that company and then this line so we have h5 with a class of text capitalize and a class of font weight bold so we have company name then we need that line so that one is a hra hr with a class of bg white and a class of display inline block And then some margin at the bottom. So we have margin bottom. We're going to use four. And then tab. And then we need to style it. So we have style. So we have width. I'm going to use 60px. And then height. So height, I'm going to set that to 2px. 2 pixels. So I'm going to save. Let's see from the browser how it looks like. And there you have it. You can see now we have that text. So let's also add the text. So we have it below the HR. So we have paragraph with a class of line height large. And then some dummy text. So I'm going to use lorem 17. And then save let's see and there you have it so now we have that text i'm going to add the three remaining columns so here i'm going to use call 12 and then for small devices i'm going to use call small 6 and then for large devices, I'm going to use call large 2. That is call LG2. And then some margin at the bottom. So we have MB4. So at the end here, I'm going to say times 3 because we need 3 of them. So hit tab. So for the first column, you're going to copy what we have here. That is the heading the line 
the two so i'm going to paste for the three columns paste paste so for the second column we have heading as so let's see from the layout we have products useful links and then contacts so that is the order so we have the second heading so we have products and then useful links and then the third one which is contact save let's see how it looks like and there you have it you can see now we have the three headings so the next one now is to add the list you can see we have the list in form of the the list in form of the links so let's add also those links so i'm going to start with the links for the products so we have an ordered list with a class of list inline and then we need the list items so we have the ally which will have a link inside and then some dummy text so i'm going to use lorem ipsum and then i'm going to hit tab so i'm going to duplicate for the three links so i'm going to duplicate three times so we have one two three so i'm going to save let's see from the browser how it looks like and there you have it you can see now we have the list or the links so let's also copy for the useful links and the contacts so i'm just going to copy the entire unordered list to, to the rest of the columns so for the useful links paste and also for the contacts paste so for these full links you can see we have a different content from the layout here you can see the content is different so i'm going to copy this and then replace with what we have so copy and then i'm going to pause the video and then add them on these full links so i've copied everything i'm going to save let's see from the browser and there you have it so the next step now is to style that content so here i'm going to start by styling the list items and i'm going to change the color to white and then remove the underline and also have some space or create some space between the list items so let's work on that so on the footer.css at the bottom here i'm going to start with a comment which is style the company info content so that is a comment and here i'm going to create a class which is going to style that list items so i'm going to call it company list so we have company list so i'm going to set the display to block so that is the first thing i'm going to do so we have block and then we're going to set the list style type to none so we have list type so i'm going to set that to none and also we need to set the position to relative then we need to style the list items so we have the ally inside the list style so i'm going to set the margin bottom so i'm going to use 0 0.5 frame and then text decoration i'm going to set it to none to remove that underline and then we need also to style the links that are inside the list items so we have the color i'm going to change that to white or set it to white and then also text decoration we need to set that to none so the next thing now is to add this class to the list items that we have on the html so i'm going to select the ul class that is an ordered list for the three so you have the first one second one and the third one and then add that class 
company list and then i'm going to save let's see save and there you have it you can see now we have the list items so the next thing is to make sure that once you hover the list or the links they turn to our primary color so like what we have here on the layout so you can see from the layout once you hover the links they turn to that primary so on the list again where we have the company list so we have the hover and then i'm going to set the color to primary So we have primary and then i'm going to save let's see so now if you try to hover the links you'll see they turn to that primary so the next thing also is to add some space between the social media content and the company info so you can see we need some enough space or good space like what we have here on the layout so here on the HTML, I'm going to add some margin top where we have that container. So I'm going to add that class margin top five. So that one will fix that and then save. And there you have it. The next step now is to make sure that our content is fully responsive. So I'm going to open the inspector. So inspect element. So that is how the content look, looks like on a medium device and that's an iPad screen width 768 and you can see already the media breakpoint is already working. So I'm going to switch to another device. This one will be a small device. So let's go to Moto G4. So again here you can see the content is fitting nicely on that screen device. So let's switch to another one. So let's go for a larger device iPad Pro. So again, here you can see the content is also fitting nicely and it's fully responsive. So even without writing a single media breakpoint, you can see our columns are already creating the media breakpoint that we have created. So the only thing I'm going to do is to add the MX Auto, that is the class for horizontal centering on the columns that we have. So I'm going to select all the columns and then add that class. So we have the second one, the third one, and then the fourth one. So we have that class MX Auto. So I'm going to save. Let's see. So with that, our content now is fully responsive and you can move on to the next part, which is part four of the footer. That is the bottom footer.